Hello, this is welcome a, back to This Eternal is a sponsored Eyes. video, guys. This is Spookfest. This there's a this spooky is... there's a spooky castle and we got a green pumpkin head guy. Guys. Oh yeah, so on uh so this is a I re-recorded this just a heads up just to uh, show off some stuff I didn't get to show in my original recording of the game. So I did have a couple changes to the uh, puppets. We also got this guy that looks like a bag. This is Spookfest. Anyway, his, this is a look at sponsored his butt. video. I'd like to, I'd like to thank Canadian Mist uh, for making me drunk tonight. Uh, a blend known for its mellow character and smooth taste. Canadian Mist. Did you want to say something, Jack? I was just look at their butts. They, yeah. they got butts. <laughs> that's Why that's what butts? my girl. That's what that's what my girlfriend said. She was like, "What is with those things having a big booty?" I was like, "I think it's supposed it's to be like the seam. It's yeah, supposed so to be it's, like it's the seam around their body." But, but they it, just look. Thick. It looks like they have they a just... fucking dump truck of an ass. I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I think that's exactly word for word what she said too. But yeah. Also, so, they're uh, those. Go ahead. I was gonna say their portrait makes them look like Kid Boo. Yeah. So. Um, Am I supposed to be horny during this let's play? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, anyway, so there's a uh, sash talk, which are those pink guys, and the death bat for the enemies. The death bats can move quite a bit. They have like five spaces of movement. And uh, the Sash Talk, they're they're pretty standard enemies. They have a decent physical attack. They don't really do a whole lot, but the, the Death Bats are going to be the annoying ones. Also, I have this green pumpkin head guy. Oh, yeah. I also have the dummy thick puppet guy, too. Except Fuck instead yeah. of being pink, he's like white. What the hell? Why would you do this? Well, he starts like that, and then his, like, next step up is the pink one that we're fighting. Oh. Okay. So it's not supposed to be racist. Got it. No. Tell us about... Tell us... Tell us about this area. Where, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah. So, uh... Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in or forgot from last episode... In like the last me. episode... Uh, we had finished up in the Lost Forest, and we fought the first boss, and he said that we needed to go to Vulado and go up to the hall, through the Halls of Dolls, where we'll be able to meet, uh, somebody that will be able to give us some more information on the Eternal Eyes tribe. We know that we're part of the Eternal, Luke is part of the Eternal Eyes tribe, and he has special powers. We don't know what all of those powers are, so we're gonna go through this the Hall of Dolls, as they call it, and see if we can find out anything. Which, by the way, I did not mention this, uh, and uh, several turns have gone by, but uh, Luke is equipped with a spear this time. I didn't mm -hmm. actually take advantage of it yet, but it's it's really nice being able to have like two spaces of uh, range for your attack. Like, the spears actually do decent damage or, until like the late game. So if you want to have like that extra space where you can actually maybe close up the distance if you're not quite able to get close enough, but the spears do a decent enough job. That did a lot of damage. Oh my Ooh, god. Oh shit. That killed one of your puppets. That's bad. Yeah, unfortunately our dummy th thick dumpster truck booty puppet dude is already dead. <laughs> what the fuck? We got him a level one to be fair because it was a fresh puppet that we turned into something. And we're fighting level 10s, so... Rip. Hmm. Uh, so, does the uh, spear let you attack diagonally, or is it just no. two spaces forward? Just, just the cardinal directions. Okay. Now, just like I mentioned, you use the gems on puppets outside of battle in order to turn them into things. If you... One of your puppets dies. You can turn it into like the first stage of something by throwing a gem at it. So you will be able to like turn it into something else. And guess what? We have the jackal. Yay! Remember when we made friends? Well, we, we made a friend. Hey, can can you make these bats your friend? 
Uh, yeah, we can we can make these bats our friend. Okay, well, thank we, God. We, not 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 those bats, but we can make them the bat. Yeah. Our can we make those bats your friend? No. Darn. Okay. I give up. I'll drown my sorrows in alcohol. Glug 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 glug. The um. The jackal has actually a really good like starting map them on because they do a fuck ton of physical damage. Like when you lose a puppet and then resurrect it into something else, reincarnate it into something else, they don't start with any equipment whatsoever because it just falls off and goes back to your inventory. So for him to do decent damage and just kill something on his own is pretty good. Whenever you say map them on, I just think of Chimp Pokemon from South Park. <laughs> oh god. How are you guys Doing fine. I'm almost done with my drink, so I'm almost uh, ready to for this recording session and for work tomorrow. Oh yeah. Uh, by the time this goes up, we will have officially entered a new generation of gaming. The Xbox Series X was already out by the time we recorded this, but the PS5 will also have been released by the time this goes up. So, uh, fun times there, I suppose. Who cares? Let us, let, us, let us know if you guys are interested in getting a PS5 or an Xbox Series X anytime soon. I'm not. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. these guys have, like, a lot of HP. Like, why does these guys have 75 HP? It's because of that dump truck ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're so thick that it just goes right to their health yeah. bar. Listen, if you told me, uh, Isaac... Uh, was fucking thick in the booty, I would give you an extra two points to constitution. Because y you need that extra HP, dude. He's still not dead. At least our jackal has plenty of chances to level up a bunch. Because when you hit something and you're like eight levels below it, you just shoot up levels every single time you hit them. This is almost Fire Emblem, in that case. You can do a surprisingly decent amount of damage, too, despite the level difference. Yay, we did it. We got a bandana. Hell yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations! Oh. We're not doing the... We're still not doing the meme? No. Just once. Oh, come on. Whoa, what the fuck? Four. Did it change? Or is that just its icon? That's its icon. Okay. Because it doesn't look like that. For the sprite. It looks a lot cuter. Well, I did mention that when we were, um... Now it's a hijackle. Now it's stone. Um, no, but I mentioned that when we first fought him in the Lost Forest. They look way more ferocious on the portrait than they do in the sprite. In the sprite, they just look cute. I think I forgot. I'm gonna give this hijackal a twisted towel. And a, okay. And a, ban and a bandana. Those are both head accessories. But yeah, what, what the he's, fuck? He's, he's thugging it out. I did a quick jump cut so I could rename the hijackal as hijackal, so it's not uh, su suited, 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 suited talk. I don't know what that thing is that we ended Bless up you. having before. <laughs> Thank you. This level is got a lot of elevation to it. Thankfully, we God. don't have to. Thankfully, we don't have to go up those stairs that often because they tend to come to us. 
But there's a bunch of these spirit guys. And they have they have tongues. This kinda reminds me of a map from uh the uh the hyper devotion noir game. Because that one's a strategy game and that, like there was like a map that I played that was very specifically like both sides had a lot of elevation. I am surprised you touched a game in that franchise. It obviously I can't play a main series game because F that, but I can play a tactical RPG. This is true. Yeah. Oh yeah, I try to use like all the different spells that my puppets have so I can give you like a little bit of a variety of the different spells that they can get. But yeah, we have like these spirits oh. which are just like these weird they look like hairy blobs with tongues, and then there's also these little guys with hats and staffs walking around. And no arms, just feet. They almost remind me of the... Well, no, they don't remind me at all, actually, now that I look at the front part. But from the behind, they almost remind me of the... Uh... Oh, the Dragon Quest character... Um... There's a, oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. It's the... Uh, God, I have to actually pull up the name for it. I am very much... Now I'm deep into the to the alcohol threshold, folks. Uh, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, uh, fuck. Magical Hat is the name of these guys. As you can guess, they're good at magical based attacks and almost nothing else. I don't know why, but these spirits just remind me of that emoji that it's like the hot, sweaty emoji that has like the tongue sticking out, panting. It's it's the sham hat witch. The because sham it's hat a witch. because it's a boar wearing a hat. So it's a ham sandwich. But, oh know. my fucking god. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dragon Quest is full of punny names here. I'm, I'll post it in the the Discord. I don't know if anyone's gonna gonna look at it. I'll post it in the general bucket. I don't care. There. Okay. I just saw the art before you posted it. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I love it. it yeah. It, I do. I also love it. Uh, future me, if you remind, if you remember to do it, put a picture of that thing up. There's like a couple different color variants, but the yeah, I saw the um the one where the like Sham the Hat Witch is uh, the like the base base version basically, if I remember right. I saw the uh, Ham Sham Witch, which is like blue with a yellow hat. Yeah, that's another one. Whoa! I wonder where those stairs lead. Because it's 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 fairly it's kind of implied that you're going through the door at the end of that hallway, but like there's steps up that way and there's doors up there too. I wonder hmm. if this is a maybe this is a hotel. Maybe there's puppets that live there. Maybe this is Hotel California and we can never leave. Oh God. Oh no, Landon, no. I'm sorry, but it had to happen. Are you gonna have to go up there to kill that one motherfucker? Nah, he the... comes down. Okay. Eventually. I mean, he doesn't come down all the way, but he comes down far enough that I don't have to go up this stairs, which thank God, because I'm not wasting two spaces per step to go all the way up there. That's like bad game design. That's like two, three turns of moving. Yeah, that's bad game design, folks. If if although the levels, very the very levels drunk Landon here, thinks that's bad, that that's just bad. Although the levels 
in this game don't take a long time to beat. I know that in Final Fantasy Tactics, some of the maps can take for fucking ever to get through because they're like... <laughs> there's just so much going on. Not that it's a bad thing, it's just there's so much going on. God, if you want to talk about a tactical RPG that takes fucking forever per map, I will show you the first Project Cross Zone for the oh Nintendo God. 3DS. Oh my fucking God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is this guy doing? He's gonna... he's gonna blow up the entire map. Ow. Excuse you, sir. Project... Bless you. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, Project Cross Zone is a game. It is a game. Project Cross Zone 1, specifically. Project Cross Zone 2 fixes that, that issue. He almost killed two of my puppets. What the fuck? Fuck that guy. Murder him. Also, also uh, speaking of Project Cross Zone, I'm pretty sure it Cosmos is in that game? Yes. Yes. I played a demo of Cross Zone. I believe I she's in both. Didn't get the chance to actually play through the whole thing. I would highly recommend Project Cross Zone 2 to anyone who's interested. Uh, because it's actually good. Um, and uh, the, the battles don't just compound on time uh, with each iteration of map. Uh, but, uh, like the first one. Uh, it's Cosmos. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Cosmos is in the second one with Fiora from Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I magically nice. remembered that my hijackle does actually have a spell. Wow. It's called Thunderbang. Wow. It's it's literally just the basic lightning bolt spell, though. It sounds also, like it should be a melee attack, but it's not. Because anything with not. Fang automatically should be, like, within melee wet range, in my opinion. I love some of the names of these spells, though. Iggs. Shan. They get... These are just, like, do... bad nicknames for real ga for real names. Yeah, no, it's... They, um... They do a very similar... It's... Not really similar. They, they don't do quite the same thing as, um... As uh, Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy or uh, Shin Megami Tensei do, where like they have a defined structure for like all of their uh, like the different levels of spells based on the elements. Like there's a basic element system in this game, but it like it hardly you can hardly notice it because like the colors just kind of mostly do the same similar things to each other. You just kind of cross over a couple of points. But, like, all of the spells do have, like, several steps, so, like, several tiers to them. And as you get the next one up, they have, like, a slightly more complicated name that uses the root that it had at the first stage. So, like, there, there's an inspiration there, but it's, like, you can hardly tell. See, this guy comes down here. Eventually. Finally. Come, f come fight me, you bitch! Coward. Prick. I'm gonna hit you with my pumpkin head. Damn. Jack, what do you think it would feel like if someone had a giant pumpkin for a head, and they just slammed it into you? I'd probably shit myself. <laughs> what? I mean, that. Uh, I don't know. This, <laughs> see, uh, in Night in the Woods, when they write the song Pumpkinhead Guy, it's really about this guy. Oh, yeah. They, they're all yeah, big fans of Eternal Eyes. To oh, be God. Honest, uh, I would also shit Jack self if someone hit me with a pumpkin head. So. Yeah, so we did. Someone it. hit you with their pumpkin head. And next, yeah, if someone hit me with their pumpkin head, I would shit Jack's self. Jesus. In the next part, we're going to finish up the Hall of Dolls. Oh shit, that's it? Wow. That went by.